welcome back on the channel i hope you're doing great and you have a good day or night and today i want to talk a little bit about this sound design a lot of people ask me how feral do this like reese sounds or like i don't know how you call them in dubstep we call them reese let's call it space lines a friend of mine, he always called it like this. This kind of sounds, they have so much tension, and then we all know it's just filtering, right? So you're getting this like zoop, zoop, zoop. But to get this really like energy sound going on, I like to push my signals to the edge with a tool that normally in the sound that I like from the aesthetic, I'm more like sinus sounds, clear sounds, and distortion is something I don't like. But today I wanna show you how you can get your sound even aggressive hypnotic with just a little bit of distortion and we will check uh, Ableton Amp today. So in Ableton I just load up a drift and make that kind of simple sound here and uh, a bit of uh, attack change here a little bit the sounds and like what we do like in the beginning you have something like this and then most of the time I go and I like make the sound more soft or something but in our case we're looking for something that have those noisy overtones inside to just modulate a little bit the things here. Ah, by the way, uh, check the LFOE so you can have like a little bit longer times. Also here, the rate can go till 32. You see it goes out of the actually grid mm, if you want like longer LFOs. In our case, we don't. We want something like this. And So try to keep um, a frequency, like the second oscillator in our case, that is really deep. So we're using a sinus and minus one. So if, if we solo this, you know, the noise gives us just some overtones we will play with. And then with the second oscillator. And we want that also here, morphing in plus the shape. And then see how far we go with this. So it's now we have something that have bass and a lot of overtones. And what we do now, we put the volume down. That's the first thing we do. So I would say minus 12, okay? Because uh, otherwise you smash your ears right now. Uh, then we go for the amp and we put it on, yeah, just check what it, how it sounds and make it stereo, dual. even more. And we want to push the highs. And 
with this, then uh, we can work with like phasing or something to just get some weird stuff going on. So now we are full rich on overtones and what you want to do with overtones, you want to filter them to make them hypnotic. We know what we use for that. In Ableton, we have this link filter from Hypnos and then we put some ripples in and sync that boy. Chuk. Or girl, whatever. And then we sync that. can put some chorus behind. this and we also did behind the filter always play with the order a little bit and then um, I would say we go for some convolution reverb and find like a nice nice spot If we just copy that and say here the offset is gone, the depth is 100, and we may we take it as a sinus, and we map that one on the depth. And you see when you just pitch down that synth, you're getting all those textures out of, of the amp. And if you use the sling filter then in like a, a number that is more loopy for techno, like one, two or something, Play with the sweet spot of the ripple and uh, multiply. And I give you a kick too. Limit on this one just to, to know our ceiling.
play sometimes here with this stuff. Yeah, just change also sometimes um, the mode of the of the amp, like like rock, lead, heavy, bass, whatever you want. I just wanted to show that simple because like a lot of people asked me in the last time like yo how to make this like super hypnotic wow sounds and I was like Oof. actually just try to push that frequency of the amp and then do the same stuff that I already showed on that channel many many times filters phasers a little bit of room and then just push the frequency with some distortion there's more than just the amp of course saturation tape emulations intense fuss and distortion, plugins, take whatever you want and just squeeze the frequency of the beautiful synth. And then, um, yeah, just put some phase on top to make this like kind of liquid feedback sound on top and put it through a morph EQ, sling filter or whatever you want to get that. Just a short one. I hope that helps. Mm. Stay hydrated. Enjoy the weather. Don't make too much music in your cave and we see us soon. Bye. Every time I forget this shit. Do me one favor. Push that like button. That helps me a lot. Cause then YouTube loves me. I love making YouTube. And we have more of that stuff. Right? Cool. Bye.